Hello my sweet YouTubers, welcome to my channel and this is a Q&A video! <laughs> finally! Finally! And as you know, I need glasses to read so this is how I prepared my Q&A video because otherwise, my darlings, you know that I do all by myself and I don't have any help to do my videos so, if I had someone here to tell me the questions, it was easier, but I don't. So, I had to write it down and <laughs> let's try it. It's a long time since I want to do this Q&A video, but I never had the time. I'm getting there. I'm trying to organize this channel little by little. We are doing it. And uh, this is a way also to bring you some, you know, um, answers because a lot of people they want to know things about me and um, I hope you will enjoy it. The first question is from Josephine Godron Garcia. I hope the pronunciation is good. She wants to know what's my favorite thing about doing what I do. Well, Josephine, you know, one of the things I love is I'm doing what I love and I think this is the best thing already because a lot of people they want to do things they don't do it because of family because of society because of the others and uh, I never had this when I was younger I was always fighting against uh, rules against um, society I guess and uh, it was really really hard now that I'm more than 50 let's say this I am free and I'm doing what I love and I think this is the best part of it what advice would you give to you when you were young and trying for the first time drag good question you know what I will tell myself if I could go to the past I should tell myself never stop dreaming never and this is something I do really I never stop dreaming I think this is very important people th sometimes they call me a dreamer but I love being a dreamer because most of the dreams I had they became reality so keep on dreaming my darlings how do you manage to be so authentic while performing a character well, I'm not the kind of drag who does imitations, I don't. Normally the numbers I do are numbers that I like the song first, the words, the lyrics, and um, I, I feel the song first and I try to catch the energy of the artist. I do a lot of rehearsal and I really try to, you know, follow the, the breath of the, the singer when he's singing. And that's it. Because I don't do imitations. But I try to... I never imitate. All my performances... Well, I do a lot of rehearsal, but each performance is different from the other. Who are your biggest inspirations? All the stars from Hollywood, from the past, big personalities in history, and um, yeah, and also the anti stars. You know what is anti star? It's a star who is completely against the system. I will give you an example. Louise Brooks was she was an anti star because she went against Hollywood. It was not very nice for her career, but she did. And I, I really love Louis Brooks for being an anti star. Well, she wants to know also if I want to do more of those workshop, like this event I did in, uh, for Mac with my brother. I would love to. In fact, I was telling my brother that in the future we should start, you know, a little school for drag queen, because my brother is a great makeup artist and he needs some kick to and more courage to start his own business because he's a great makeup artist and I think he's wasting his time so I would love to start some you know a big project with him doing um, makeup makeovers and all this stuff yes we are planning something 
Oh, so those questions were from Josephine Godron Garcia. Thank you so much, my darling. I hope I answered you. Now, Lil Savage, how you use the restroom? Because you know, she tells that we don't have privacy when you go to the disco, to the clubs. Well, you know, I use my hip pads a lot of times. It's very difficult. In the beginning, I think because of the stress, I could stay hours without going to the toilet, even if I was drinking. I think I'm sure it, it was because of the, the stress I was before. I was feeling before. Now that I got used doing drag, I'm more relaxed. I drink, I mean, I drink, you know, I don't have any problems. Because the place I perform now at Chez Maman, we have a private bathroom. So I go there, I take off all my stuff and I, I pee and I put on, I put back all this stuff. But when I go out, it's really, really painful. I don't go very often to discos. I remember last year I was at the Gay Pride and suddenly I need to go to pee. And um, we went to a bar in the very center of Brussels, which was full of people. It was a big line to go to the restroom. And I want to go first and people said, no way, they were really angry with me. Because I, I, I want to, you know, because I was in drag, I thought they were saying, okay, you can go. And they didn't want me to go, so well, they were right. So what I did, I had to go to another bar where I knew they had a private toilet and I went there. So I do understand you when you are a drag and you go to the, the disco. But you know what? If you are a drag queen and if you go to the disco, I think you could you can go to the guys' room. They should allow us everywhere. Because you know we are creatures. We are fairies. We don't you know we don't have bad thoughts behind our brain. What do you think? I hope I answered you. Disarray. I hope I, I have the right pronunciation. She asked me, will you do makeup tutorials? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about it, but you know, not right now, because it's a lot of work for the editing, for the recording. So I'm waiting a little bit and I will wait for this channel to grow a little bit more. Maybe in the future, if I have some people to help me, I will do it. All right, promise. I think it's so so Katie. He asked it, what's my favorite kind of style of song? All my performances are almost, you know, vintage. I like old stuff, 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s, but I really love old songs. This is my kind of songs. He asked it also how to create a name for dra drag name. That's what I understood. Well, I created my name first because of Marilyn Monroe, as you know, I love her. She played a character in Some Like It's Hot called Sugar, and I always loved this kind of name. And also in the color purple that is Sugar, I love it. Well, I said maybe if I do drag one day, I should use Sugar. And uh, Love, it's from a model from the 70s. He was working for Mapplethorpe. A famous photographer in the 70s and his name was Bob Love and I loved this name Bob Love and I said well if you we mixed sugar love and you know I'm always kind to people I said that's not a bad idea and that's why I created my name I think for you if you want to create a name think a lot about your personality things you like don't try to copy people's name I don't like people you know copying because this girl is called like that, I'm gonna, and I love her, I'm gonna do the same name, I will change a little bit. No, do something for yourself. Choose words and names that you like, all right? Don't copy anybody. And how long I've been doing drag? Forever, forever. I started doing drag when I was five years old, dressing up, I mean. I think, I guess it's, it's already doing drag. I tried several times. Each time I was by myself, alone at home, I was wearing clothes and doing stuff. I was in drag. But seriously, I started in 2005 and 
one year after I became professional and I'm doing this for a while now. With Steven Sturgill, can you transform a guy to a makeover with a guy? Yes, I can. I don't like doing makeup in another person because, you know, my hands, I never find the right position. It's very painful and, um, well, it's not my cup of tea, but I can do it. I've done it. And uh, actually, I'm planning to do some transformations very soon. Once again, with my brother, I told him, he said, okay, we are, we are gonna do. So in the future, we are going to do transformations, makeover. We are gonna transform everybody. Women, old ladies, men, old men, young men. We're gonna transform them in gorgeous creatures very soon. Now Frankie Queen, he's asking me how I managed to walk with really high heels, big high heels on a carpet. Well, I don't wear a lot of high heels. My heels are medium and small. They all make fun of me because I have a problem uh, with my feet and uh, I cannot stand very high heels. But when I wear them, I have my technique. I always uh, f use the front of my foot first. I step with the front, never with the, with the heels, never. So like a cat, always very delicate and always using the front, my foot first. The fingers, you know? The fingers, I think fingers are there. Well, the foot, really, like that, first and after the heels and uh, that's the best way and you must be very delicate when you you walk with high heels that's my advice another question is if i do full makeup at home and travel to do the show i've done it i hate it because you know i always had to catch a taxi we never know what we are gonna find of course now we have uber I've done this like two months ago, I did with my friends, we had a great experience with Uber. But you know, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, when I am doing shows at Chemamon, all my stuff are there. And I do prefer to do my makeup right in the place where I'm gonna perform. Really, I do prefer. Maybe in the future when I'm richer and I've got more money, I'm gonna have a chauffeur. My fastest makeup oh my god i think the fastest well once i was in a show we arrived very late because we got lost we had something my friend as soon as we are we arranged everything we arranged you know costumes every everything she told me we have one hour to be ready and by this time i was really slow because i have to cover everything only to cover my eyebrows it takes like uh, 15 minutes i said oh my god then I went to the stage to check how the stage was, um, the position of the stage, and I realized the public, they were really far from me. So I said, all right. So I, as soon as I covered my eyebrows, I had my canvas, my, my face eray, erased, and I could start, start painting. I did a big eyeliner, a kind of cut crease, eyebrows, lips very, very fast, contouring, and a lot of glitter. That's it. That was my makeup. I was ready. In one hour, I was so proud. I was so stressed. I looked like a bee because I had these big eyes, but like a dancer, you know, with a double eyeliner. But people were really happy. They said the makeup was great. Anyway, who understand them? Oh, what's your worst drag disaster? I think for me, the worst thing that can happen to a drag queen is not knowing your playback. I think that's very sad. And it happened to me a lot of times. And I have also a little technique. I move my hands, I turn my face so people don't look at my lips. But I think that's the worst thing. I've lost one week doing a show, but these people can accept, more or less. But I think, yeah, I think the worst thing is not knowing your lip sync. Do you have an emergency drag kit? Good question. We all should have little things because you never know if your costume is gonna break. I have a, a friend, he even has some hot glue. 
because if something happened, hot glue can fix. So you should have little things and you should also be prepared before you're going with a checklist. This helps a lot. Extra tights, you know, little things. Yeah, I have my extra things. But an extra kit, I don't. But I do have little things to fix, like even um, threads and, you know, this kind of thing. Scissors, because you never know, you have to cut something. No. How do you get mentally prepared to go on stage? Well, I try not not to drink before performances. I drink a little bit, not too much, because you know, you can lose your concentration. Um, in the beginning, I was really stressed when I talked about 10 years ago. Now I don't get that stress. Just a few moments before going on stage, I think it's normal. But I don't do anything special. I even talk before going on stage. I'm talking, my number will start and I go down. So, yeah, I don't have anything special now that I'm used to it, okay? So those questions were from Frankie Queen. And that's it. I hope I answered your questions, my darlings. And I hope you do like this kind of video. If you want more videos like this, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you just arrived here and ring that bell because each time I post a video, you will know about it. All right, that's it for today, my darlings. I hope you do like my new look, my dress. This is Emilio Pucci original. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Now, don't forget to play safe, stay safe, and I see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.